Apple has introduced iOS 14, the latest version of the iPhone software, at the WWDC 20 online conference. The new operating system brings widgets to the main home screen right alongside the apps, dramatically changing the way iOS home screen looks. There's also a new Smart Stack widget that automatically shows relevant apps based on the time of the day. The new app library is essentially a folder system for iOS that allows users to organize apps into groups and lists. Apple is also adding system-wide picture-in-picture to iOS videos, allowing videos to hover over apps or continue playing in the background. In another feature, Apple has introduced App Clip, a speedy card-based snippets of apps that lets users access small parts of the apps without requiring to install a full application. iOS 14 adds several new features to the Messages app, including mentions, new Memoji features including an avatar wearing a face mask, and a new interface for group text that enables threads to be pinned to the top of the app. The update also redesigns Siri and allows the Apple's voice assistant to also send audio messages. Apple Maps is getting new curated guides, cycling directions, as well as EV routing to help users find the best possible path towards the charging station. Apple has also announced new updates to CarPlay, allowing users to unlock and start their car from their phone. The iOS 14 will be releasing this fall with plans for a public beta for all iOS users in July and will work on the iPhone 6s and up. Apple has announced iPad OS 14, a new version of its operating system for the iPad that comes with redesigned native apps that make better use of the extra available screen space. Apps such as Photos, Notes and Music now have a sidebar that lets you jump between different sections of the app much faster. Another big update is the much-expanded reach of Search. The new universal search can now be used as an app launcher to find contacts or documents, search within apps and even initiate web searches from the same window. Apple has announced new improvements to Pencil with a new feature called Scribble which lets users convert handwritten text to typed text. It recognizes letters, shapes, and can even support multiple languages at the same time. iPad OS 14 also shares a lot of features with iOS 14. These include new resizable widgets, quick to download app clips, cycling directions in maps, groups and Memoji in iMessage, as well as redesigned condensed Siri. Phone calls will now appear as a compact notification popping down at the top of the screen rather than replacing the screen with whatever a user was doing. The final version of iPadOS 14 will be available this fall for iPad Air 2 and later all iPad Pro models, iPad 5th generation and later, and iPad Mini 4 and later. Apple has announced macOS Big Sur, the company's next major update to its laptop and desktop operating system in a refreshing new design at its online-only WWDC 2020 event. It replaces the 20-year-old Mac OS X to offer a spacious new design that makes navigating the user interface much easier. The application window has been updated with new color schemes, transparency effects and rounded corners. There's also a customizable menu bar, full height sidebar, a new floating dock and control center and a whole new setup of app icons along with iOS style notifications and widget interface. Apple claims Safari on Mac OS Big Sur is 50% faster than Chrome in loading web pages as well as offers better battery life than competitors. Safari now features a new start page with custom wallpapers and can translate web pages right from the address bar. It's got sections like reading list and iCloud tabs similar to other popular browsers and a redesigned tab user interface with increased tab density, page previews on hover and the ability to close a group of tabs at once. Safari extensions have also been upgraded to now work only when needed and on particular sites. Apple has built in enhanced privacy features for these extensions preventing how much access they have to your data and even block them. Native apps like Messages and Apple Maps have also been updated with features introduced in iOS 14. The Mac OS Big Sur will be coming later this year to Mac PCs and MacBooks in Fall 2020. Apple has officially unveiled plans to use its own ARM-powered silicon in Mac PCs ditching Intel, its partner for the last 15 years. Apple said that the first Macs with Apple chips would arrive by year's end, 
and that the full transition from Intel to Apple chips would take about two years. The shift announced at Apple's annual developers conference will allow support for native iOS and iPad OS apps to run alongside the Mac OS apps on these devices in the future. The tech giant announces designing its own range of processors for Macs with industry-leading performance per watt and higher performance GPUs. Apple also demonstrated hardware running on these new chips that showed it working with Microsoft Word, Excel, Adobe Apps and rendering up to four 4K Apple ProRes video streams in Final Cut Pro without breaking a sweat. Apple has unveiled a new software update for its AirPods at the WWDC 20 online conference that brings a host of new features to its true wireless earbuds. This includes a spatial audio feature which gives audio a sense of locational awareness with surround originating from different points. Apple said that the 3D surround sound style audio uses motion sensors to replicate a movie theater experience and keeps the sound static even when a person's head or device is moving around. The new software also includes automatic switching between devices that includes audio inputs based on which Apple device you're using through your iCloud account. For instance, AirPods will connect to whichever device is being used rather than owners having to manually change between their iPhone and iPad. The AirPods audio sharing feature is also coming to Apple TV devices, allowing two users to watch a movie together. The feature is coming soon to AirPods Pro, second generation AirPods, PowerBeats, PowerBeats Pro and Beats Solo Pro in a firmware update. WatchOS has been unveiled at Apple's WWDC 2020 and finally brings with it sleep tracking support for Apple Watch. The company claims that through the detection of micro movements from the watch's accelerometer which signals respiration during sleep, Apple Watch intelligently captures when the wearer is sleeping and how much sleep they get each night. Furthermore, all sleep data is encrypted and will always be in the user's control. Additionally, in a first-of-its-kind innovation for a wearable, Apple Watch will use the motion sensors, microphone and on-device machine learning to automatically detect hand-washing motions and sounds. It then initiates a 20-second countdown timer and if the user finishes early, they will be prompted to keep washing. WatchOS 7 also offered a glimpse at greater personalization with shareable and discoverable watch face configurations, while a new hearing health feature gives greater insight into overall well-being and are designed with privacy in mind. Conveniently on the wrist, Maps is updated with cycling directions and Siri now offers language translation. Besides its iOS 14 and iPad OS 14, Apple has also unveiled its latest Apple TV software, tvOS 14, during its online-only developers conference. The new software brings multi-user support for Xbox Elite 2 controller and adaptive controller for gaming across the Apple ecosystem. The update also brings picture-in-picture -picture support across its operating system, allowing users to play two videos on a single screen or even when with an AirPlay video. AirPlay has also been updated to support 4K video streaming in the Photos app while the AirPods audio sharing feature will also make its way to Apple TV devices. Along with these new features, Apple is also bringing native HomeKit integration and features to Apple TV devices. HomeKit enabled cameras will now show up in the home view in a picture-in-picture -picture window. Furthermore, tvOS 14 will allow users to resume games in Apple Arcade right where they left off when switching between user accounts. The updates will also reportedly bring 4K support for YouTube. <laughs> 